Welcome back to more Let's World 3, everyone. So last time it was part one of the series, and well, we did about 15 stages, not bad. What the hell? That frog just committed suicide, what the hell was that? Yeah, you know, I, I believe we did pretty well. We definitely did. 15 stages within one video, which means that, you know, um, it was about 21 minutes, so... A minute and 20 -ish seconds for each stage or something like that. I want that. Give me that stuff, man. There we go. Like, what happens when you do that, though? Okay, so that time I got a... Shoot! Shoot! Oh my god, I almost died right there, man. Luckily, you can wall jump in this version of Lep's World. And, you know, the first one and the second one, I don't think you can. The first one, you for sure can't. I don't remember it. Oh, shoot! Shoot! Get out of there, get out of there. I am not gonna risk that, so screw that. Okay, just keep going. Just keep going, just keep going. Anyone excited for, you know... Finding Dory. Oh man, people. Oh man. Okay, this is BS right here, because I'm gonna freaking crash. First of all, the damn terrain is like sticky or whatever the hell that is. Dude, this is so... I'm gonna die, like... Jeez, just, just go, just go, man. That's hard. That is very difficult. That mechanic better not be so much in the game. Because, like... I can imagine, at the moment, how dickish it can be with that mechanic. Because, like, that was only, like, easy stuff, you know? And I was already, like, freaking out, but... They could really make a dickish if they wanted to, and... Judging by how they made a Leps World 1... Man, they can... Easily do that. Yeah, if you guys haven't watched my LP of Leps World 1... Um, you would know that even though I LP'd it and finished it, I have uh, numerous problems with that game. Like, I just have- oh shoot, would you get the hell out- oh my god. You were the longest freaking- oh my god, man. Why did you stay up that long in the freaking pipe? Doesn't make any sense. Oh, whatever. Okay, are you serious right now? You did not just hit me, man. You did not just hit me. Yeah, I have a lot of problems with Left World 1. And the main reason for it is just because of poor game design, like, lazy in a way. There's just a lot of places where it was... You could easily tell it was lazy design. Easily tell that. Like, if, if you know video games really well, you can tell. You can tell, people. Shoot! Oh my god, you... Little piece of... Oh my god. Hurry up. Damn it. Go. Okay. So many blind jumps. Yeah, okay, what I don't like about this one is that there's, so far I've seen a lot of blind jumps. Like, man, that could pose to be a problem, I'm just saying. Why didn't you pop up the whole time I was there? Maybe you did, I just didn't see it, I don't know. God damn it, getting hit so much, man. Okay, I need this, because I'm pretty sure that that's gonna be a clover. No, it's not, it's just time, which is pretty bad. Go, go, okay, there we go, just do that. Jump right there, and then gotta wait for the stuff. Okay, that little guy's gonna kill himself. The blue ones kill themselves, by the way, in case you didn't know. The red ones will keep going back and forth. Basically, blue snails are like green Koopas from Mario. Red snails are red Koopas from Mario. That's pretty much the basic, the most basic way to say it. So if you're a fan of Mario, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And, I mean, see, the whole thing about that... Is that some people say that, you know, that there's actually, um, like, Nintendo intentionally wanted to make green inferior to red in their games. Because, in a way, the green Koopas are stupider, you know? <laughs> For doing that. Also, in Mario Kart, green shells go straight, but red shells can home in. Also, like, in Mario Galaxy and whatever, all the games they appear. Red shells are just overall better than green ones. Everybody knows that. And there's also the whole implication of Mario being better than Luigi. Because he's the main character, you know? So, like, if Mario, like, Mario just dresses in red, you know, and Luigi's in green, so it just makes sense that they would make Mario a superior character to, you know, to Luigi. So, I don't know, I mean, it does make sense, of course. God, man, the freaking auto running is so damn fast in this... Sh shoot! Keep going. Oh my god, that's dickish. That's... Are you serious? Oh my god, the hit detection on those is pretty BS. Kind of like Super Mario Bros. 3 spikes in the castles. You've got to be serious right now. You've got to be... Serious! I mean, you've got to be not serious. <laughs> Me and my damn verbal mistakes. Yeah, see, like that? Oh my god. Go! 
Okay, so far I can... Okay, there we go. Oh, jeez. Jump, man. What? Are you serious? Man, this one's going to be hard. I can only imagine how ridiculous future auto runners are going to be. Man, is that crazy. I mean, generally, I'm not a fan of auto runners, by the way. Just saying. And it's because you don't, you have no control over it. Like, that's the main reason. That's why, like, Mega Run, it's a cool game and all, but man, is it irritating sometimes for those reasons like, that I just mentioned, you know? It, it's very irritating. Okay, this is... Okay, stupid advertisements. Man, this game has so many advertisements, like the most ever. Ever. Like, what the hell, game? What the hell? Also, I have no idea what the hell this power-up does. And also, why do they not give you any free clovers? Like, that's insane, man. I'm just saying. That is insane. Because, like, I'm looking at everything and I believe that there are no... Go, go, go. Man, is that... Okay, that's impossible right there. Like, you try your best to avoid all the junk, all the garbage, you know, but, man, you just can't. Okay, that stage was, um... Wow. It was something. It was definitely something, alright. Okay, next. World 1-18. Well, unfortunately no, you know, clovers or stuff, so that sucks. That does suck a lot. That sucks a lot of wiener stuff. Wiener stuff, yes. That, that's a great way to explain it, right? That sucks a lot of wiener stuff. You can't defy that logic. Okay, stupid s snail. Get out of the way. You too, you bee. Nope. Don't wall jump when I don't want you to, man. Alright. Super speed. Here we go. Super speed is so cool. See? Also, the auto runners don't have check... God damn it. The auto runners do not have checkpoints, which, um... Wow. <laughs> it makes them harder, of course. Any stuff? Nope. Nothing. No stuff at all. Okay, I need that because that could be... Wait, I already have three clovers, don't I? Hmm. Maybe I did already get a clover. I didn't even realize it. Maybe, you know? Just maybe. But yeah, apparently Left World 4 is coming out soon. Like, that's what I've been hearing everywhere. And, I mean... I'm looking forward to playing it, you know? And actually, because I'll, I'll be finishing up this LP, you know, very soon. Within, like, 10 days or something. Left World 4 should be coming out maybe in, like, a month or two, I would say. So, that's good. That means I'll actually be able to play it at launch and Let's, let's Play, because I'm going to be finished with this LP by that time. So, that's going to be good. I haven't played a Left World game at launch, you know, because I... I mean, seriously, I played Left World 1 and 2 in 2015, years after they were released. And now this one was like, what, maybe a year and a half or something after its release? I forgot the day in which it came out, Left World 3. I seriously did forget. Okay, I'm doing well so- Dude, oh my god, I just crashed my head on the ceiling there. Quite unfortunate, but it does happen in games, not just Left World, but in platforming games in general, you know? Yeah, but, uh, what else was I saying about Left World? No, yeah, Left World 1. I was saying that in Left World 1, the design was very lazy. Like, they would just recycle elements back and forth of, like, they would make a platform with a freaking redstone in the middle, and that would be, like, a constant thing throughout the entire freaking game. And that was so irritating, like, oh my god. And then sometimes they would just put random birds or whatever they were, like, coming at you, even in scenarios and backgrounds that did not make any sense whatsoever. So it's like, it was just lazy, lazy uh, design, and they were just putting stuff in there to like make it a challenge when it really didn't make any sense. So that was pretty stupid. But whatever, you know? Whatever, I mean, at least I'm finished with that game, so I never have to play it in my life ever again. I only did it because people requested it, like, you know? I do iOS games a lot, and people were like, Hey, so have you heard of this uh, Leps Rule game? It's actually pretty cool, you know? So I was like, I guess I'll play it. Why not, right? Why not? So I played it, and it wasn't a terrible game, but, uh, you know, it was for sure irritating. It was for sure not a great game, I'll, I will say that, like, despite it being popular, if you look at the downloads it had, it was a popular game, but despite that, I mean, it wasn't all that good. And I mean, in a way I'm saying, oh, shoot, in a way I'm saying despite all that, but I mean, honestly, god damn it, shoot, I just broke the stuff, what the hell was that? I mean, one really interesting thing is that I haven't used too many of these acorns. I really haven't. I don't know why, I mean, like, I really should be doing it, you know, because they're acorns. I mean, come on, they give you stuff. I want that. 
I want that stuff. Give me my super speed. Super speed. Whoops. I accidentally just went past that stuff. Are you serious right now? Okay. Do that. Where's the platform? Stupid platforms, man. Just disappearing on me. Okay, what's next? Okay, that's an- Dude, I just- I was about to say that's an easy enemy and it freaking hits me. Like, what the hell? Okay. I'm done with that. That is good. Next level, hurry up. We are now in 1 dash. 1 dash boss? 1 dash boss, apparently. Oh no. Whatever will I do? Hurry up. Hurry up, thingy majiggy. Okay. Dude, what are you doing? Going the wrong way. Okay, and then gotta get this cannon. Because it launches. Oh, shoot. Okay, I can't. Those break, right? Actually, they don't. Hmm. That's weird. Okay, just keep going. Just keep making- Oh my god, I need a running start, don't I? Oh, Maybe a double jump. Maybe- Hold on. There we go. Did it. Dude, don't- Don't- Don't! What are you doing? You dumbass? And by dumbass, I mean myself. God. Stop it. Okay, there's something wrong with the control- Was it like out of sync or something? He kept moving left when I was clearly not doing it. That was very strange. That was extremely strange. Alright, let's try this again. Let's get our free clover here in the beginning, which is a... Uh, oh man, I could have made that, but oh well. Oh well, you know. Just take it slowly. And as soon as I say that, I just run past all the enemies. Okay, kill that guy and then jump over that. Alright, now I can here and just jump like that. Okay, that fire almost hit me, but I'm fine. No. Damn it, snail. Shoot. Need a better running start, man. What the hell are you doing? Like, why was it zooming in? Did you see that? You probably did see that. Like, that was very strange. Go! Alright, I did it. See, what the hell does this costume do? I have no idea. Because so far I have not seen any difference whatsoever. Invincibility. Now, I believe that does not mean that you are still invincible from the lava. Just like stars in Mario. Because, I mean, if you die with a star in Mario by going into lava... That's honestly an achievement unlocked. I'm just saying, oh my god. Just jump here. It's gonna be so ridiculous. Man. Jumps that, like, go into one freaking little platform pixel. Or well, not not a pixel, it's a lot of pixels, but like one square. Like, those are hard. Mm -hmm. What? There's sp- oh no! There's spike, I did not realize that. What the hell? How do I make that jump? Jeez, man. This is scary. Like, this is really scary. Okay, I need some stuff. Shoot, shoot, get, get out of the way, man, get out of the way. Okay, just jump over that. Here, I need to just, uh, take a very slow- no. Okay, that stupid enemy just died or whatever. Uh, go! Oh man, that was close. That was very close. I need a clover, man. I need a clover. Okay, can you fire here? Nope. Okay, please be a clover. It's not. It's not a clover. Hmm. Find each boss's weakness. Okay, the problem is that I... Shoot. Shoot! Okay, that was another advertisement. Let's try it again. Now, here's the issue that I... Wait, 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 whoa, 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 what? No! You did not just do that, game. What the hell was that? Love Thrill 2 had it right, where if you made it to the boss, it was another checkpoint in itself, man. But this one, you just... You troll the gamers, man. You troll the fans. How dare you? How dare you do this stuff? Like, that's kind of stupid, actually. Okay, these frogs are so ridiculous, I'm gonna kill them with pine cones for the first time ever. Okay, make the jump, please. Okay. Are you serious right now? Why didn't you jump? Why did you not jump, man? Okay. Please die. I mean, I could've just waited for him to kill himself, but whatever. Okay, uh, why is the pattern different now? That doesn't make any sense. See, it's randomized still, like, that's weird. That type of design is the questionable elements in games. But, okay, so... Freaking... I, I didn't hit him. Okay, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, man? I mean, what I really hate about this, though... 
See, that's stupid. You can't... Oh, no. Just kill him. There we go. Only three hits. I mean, that's all it took. So that's good. But, I mean, it's because the jumping in this game, it's nerfed. It is. Like, if you go to Left's World 1 or 2, man, it's jumping a lot better in those. So it's hard to make the platform if you don't do it correctly, you know? All right, well... Hmm, the more story, I guess. I just did something awesome, I guess, apparently. Let's keep going. On to World 2, which is Winterland, I guess. I don't even know. Wait. Yeah, there we go. It also tells you the keys. Like, there's two keys there. I got one, but I don't know what the hell they're for. So there's five worlds, not counting all these stuff, you know? I've done one, which means that there's four left. So I'm about one-fourth of the... I mean, one... One fifth of the way there, you know. All right, not bad. World two one. Let's see how this world is. Oh no, it's snow. I already don't like it. Actually, it doesn't seem slippery though. I think it's just aesthetic, the snow. Like, it's kind of hard to explain it if you're not playing the game. But I don't feel anything different. I mean, maybe. Oh wait, well no no, those are actually different platforms. I was about to say yes, but no, it's it's not. Okay, then. So far, it looks pretty simple. I mean, there's nothing crazy about this world at the moment. Like I said, dude! Dude, stop jinxing yourself, you idiot. God damn it. What the hell am I doing? I mean, as soon as I say that, I freaking die. Also, because I only had one clover, like, what the hell was that? Give me a clover, man. Give me a clover. I want it. Okay, let's just run. Yeah, see, those platforms are scary, because they're actually slippery. But the other ones, eh, they're not really that bad. You know, like, it's all, like, like that one. See, that one's scary right there, because the mechanics, the, the friction is very different. Okay, keep going. See, and the checkpoint was right there before I died, man. That's so bad. That is so bad. Okay, let's go up here, because I believe it's a much safer route. Ha! Huh, look at that, yep. It's a shortcut, man. Okay, please don't be a pit. Like, I hate that so much, man. Like, when they put blind jumps like that in video games. Because, like, that has nothing to do with you being good or bad at the game. It's completely luck-based if it's your first time playing. It's like, there's no correlation between falling in a blind pit jump to, to like, game skill, you know? Like, it's so stupid, in a way. Okay, there we go. Invincibility, or as Mario says, stars. I'm not getting the the entire tone properly, like the you know, like I'm off key a bit. Man, this stage is easy. Okay, I, I need to stop saying that because as soon as I say that, I'm gonna die. Just watch blind pit jump. Actually, no, not that time. Hmm. Keep going. Keep going. Damn it. There we go. There we go. We just finished another stage. So we are at about 18 minutes. We can still play some more stages. That's good. That is very good. Keep going. When's the next auto runner, by the way? I mean, a part of me is happy that I don't have those, you know, because they... Oh, no, I didn't see that. I didn't see that freaking goo, whatever it was. Yeah, like, a part of me is happy that I'm not seeing those auto runners. But at the same time, I'm curious, you know? Okay, what is this? Oh, shoot. Hmm. That just, like, sent me somewhere random. I don't know. I don't know where that was. Like, I don't know where that went, but whatever. Okay, I saw the goo that time. I'm not gonna fall for it two times in a row. Shoot! Shoot! Freaking stupid mechanics. Because, okay, that's another part that's hard to explain. But when you jump on an enemy, and then you tap to jump right away, it's not gonna red... Really? Okay, I didn't know that. Well, never mind. Screw that. Screw this game, man. Actually, no, don't screw this game because it's, um... It's actually a much better game than Left's World 1 and probably even 2. I mean, I haven't decided if Left's World 2 or 3 is better, but for sure Left's World 1 is a bad game. Like, I mean, okay, not... Like I said before, because I'm contradicting myself, it's not a bad game. It's just very, uh, very questionable. It's not a good game whatsoever, Left's World 1. It's just not. And the main reason is because of the developers at that time, they were just like... They were new to the whole, you know, 2D platforming stuff, like, they were trying things out. And in Lost World 2, they finally got it to work, you know, the game. 
Love Troll 1 was just like an introductory stage for them. And in a way, they didn't know what the hell they were doing. Okay, got some nice stuff there, but... Oh, shoot. I need clovers, man. But nothing's giving me clovers. I'm gonna cry. I'm not getting any clovers. I don't know. I can't kill those stupid stuff, man. Keep going. Keep going. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Clover? Yes. Think of the clover. I will take it. So we are at about 20 minutes. I can probably do one more stage. Assuming I don't die, because, you know, we're about to end it here very soon. Okay, so... Let's go. Let's go. No. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm not the only one. Okay, shut up. Shut up. It's actually a very unpopular song by a band known as The Scissors, which... Honestly, I don't even know if they exist today anymore. The Scissors. But the only reason why I know that is because um that song appeared in um, one of their games. Okay, not one of their games. What am I talking about? One game, uh, which was MLB The Show. It's a baseball game, you know? PlayStation exclusive. But yeah, they appeared there. And, um... I mean... Like, yeah, it was a good song. It was one of my favorites in that game. But, but I mean, it was really more so my brother who was a fan of MLB, MLB The Show, who played it a lot. And you know how, like, those sports games have jukeboxes, you know? And that was one of those, you know? And if it wasn't for that game, I would not have heard of them, of the scissors, you know? <laughs> so yeah, you know, sometimes it's video games that make people fans of songs, because that song is actually a really good song. I like it. Alright, uh, later. So we're gonna end it right here. I'm gonna go back over here to my menu screen. So I completed, what, four stages? Why is there a flag there? What the hell is that? I don't know what that is, that flag. No idea. But, uh, yeah, next time we're gonna be doing... I mean, the most of the second world, of course. See, some have flags. That's strange. I don't know why. Maybe, like, you go back there if you get a game over or something. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah, making some good progress, that's for sure. So, if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I would appreciate that very much. Thank you, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.